Welcome to Sit Down with Sister Jensen. Today's topic, advice to ex-Mormons. And now, your host, Sister Jensen. Hate yourself! Hate yourself every day, you are scum! Boom, boom, ba boom, 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 boom. Hey everyone, Sister Jensen here to give you some advice on what to do once you've left the church. Now, obviously, you can leave the church. You're free to leave because you have your free agency to do evil. But that doesn't just mean you can go off the deep end and take off your garments and stop reading your scriptures. Now, basically, some good advice for those of you who have left the church is... Uh, for starters, come back to the church. Uh, a second thing you can do is don't get tattoos, don't drink coffee, don't drink tea, don't drink alcohol, don't have premarital sex. Basically, just obey all the standards of the church. Uh, don't pretend to be happy because we all know that you're not. Wickedness never was happiness. And you are wicked. Don't go to gay pride parades because that's disgusting. Keep your garments on, obviously, because you promised to do that in a ceremony that you didn't know anything about right before you went in there. And then had all the pressure of all of your loved ones surrounding you to make that decision, but you made that promise. Keep your garments on. Plus, they're fireproof. Who wouldn't want fireproof clothing on at all times? In fact, I sent a couple letters to general authorities requesting full-body garment suits so that if I'm in a house fire, I won't maintain fourth-degree burns to my head, arms, and legs where garments aren't covering. Seems a bit short-sighted, I guess, but there's no way God's short-sighted, so... You know. Uh, I would also suggest not reproducing, because, you know, we don't want your evils in the gene pool. Basically, just don't enjoy yourself at all, because it's really hard for us Mormons who are watching you enjoy yourselves, because we know that you're not really enjoying yourselves, but it's it really looks like you are. So it's kind of hard on us to maintain the faith, sort of with the idea that maybe you could be happy outside of the church, which you can't. I promise. So basically, just keep being Mormon. Well, that's been it for me. Oh, don't do butt stuff, even if you're married. Last of all, definitely do not like this video. Do not subscribe to this channel. Do not contribute to the evil that is ex-Mormons supporting other ex-Mormons. And if you're going to comment, then comment about creative ways to hate yourself back into God's loving arms.